Is your aim inconsistent? Do you whiff easy shots? Do your friends tell you to go play Minecraft because you just suck that bad? Well, that certainly happened to me. But I'm going to tell you three terrible habits that we have when we're trying to aim and how to fix them. Now, the first two of these are pretty straightforward, but the third one is pretty unique, and I bet you haven't heard it before. So let's go. Crouching. Crouching. Always crouching. Why do I see somebody and immediately crouch? Why? Well, it's actually pretty understandable why we do this. When you crouch, your accuracy is increased. It's easier to control your spray, and you're stuck in one spot, so it's easier to just focus on your aim because you're just sitting there only aiming. But that's the problem. Your movement is an essential part of your aim. Your movement and your aim should be in love with each other. They should, they should cherish each other because it's so important that these two work together, work in tandem to get you kills. Along with this, throwing movement into your gunfights makes you harder to hit, right? If you're crouched, you're committed, you can't sidestep one way or the other. But if you're standing, you can burst, sidestep one way, burst, sidestep another way, burst. You can throw in movement to make it harder for the enemy to kill you. And this brings up maybe the most important point of all, is that the second you crouch, you are committed to the fight. Either you're going to kill them, or you're going to die. And lots of times, you're going to die. Because if the enemy has cover, they can jiggle out, they can fight you, but the second you crouch, they're jiggling, you miss your shot, they have a perfect repeak to kill you, right? They know you're crouching, they know the crosshair placement, and you're stuck in the same spot. Now to illustrate this point, I think the perfect player to look at is Shroud. I was watching one of Vu's uh, videos recently about Shroud and his aim and his movement, and if it was actually good, it's a great video, you should watch it, I'll put it in the description. And so I looked at other clips of Shroud, and he uses this all the time, and I want you to watch this clip and think about what am I seeing? What is he not doing? I think you can already guess what the answer is. Still gets the kill. It almost looked like Skadoodle had actually come out on top there. What a flick coming in. Ding, ding, ding. You got it right. Congratulations. He's not crouching, right? He's not crouching and committing to fights. He's able to use his movement to his benefit. He's, he's ducking shots. He's switching between angles. Real quick, I just want to mention that I'm not saying that you should never crouch, okay? Crouching is still very helpful. It's very useful in certain situations. I've just noticed that people overcrouch. They use crouch way too much, and that includes me. Well, how do I fix this? How do I stop crouching? You stop crouching. That's the answer. You stop crouching. So to practice this, go into DM, only hit taps or bursts if you want to. Four bullets max, three bullets, whatever. Don't commit to sprays. Use your movement and your aim together. It's going to make a world of difference, and it's going to get you out of that habit of crouching and committing to fights. Now, a second bad habit here may sound a bit counterintuitive, but it's to stop shooting too early. I do this so much. I see a guy, and I just instantly want to flick to his head and kill him. I don't take a second. I don't, I don't breathe. I just, oh, I want to kill him, and it's detrimental. It, is, it loses you so many free kills. You don't have to click on them within 100 milliseconds. You can wait a little bit. We feel like in CSGO, if you don't click on their head instantly, then they're going to click on your head instantly. And sometimes that's the case, but most often it's not. But I'm here to tell you that you have the advantage way more often than you think you do. Take that extra 0.5 seconds and put your crosshair on their head, on their body. Don't rush it, especially if it's a scenario where you know you have an advantage. Just get the kill. Don't feel like you have to have the fastest reactions in the world. Now, obviously, this is something that's kind of difficult to practice, right? It's like basketball. You shoot 10 free throws during training, and you can get 10 in a row. You shoot 10 in a game, and you hit six of them, right? Because you don't have that pressure when you're practicing, especially in DM, whatever it is you're, you're using. It's just something that when you go into a game, you have to keep it in your mind and really focus on working on it on thinking, do I have an advantage in this fight? Can I take that extra 0.5 seconds to lock in this kill? Now, the third and last one is not using your eyes properly. And it sounds weird, but we often don't focus as much as we should. And let me explain. CSGO and video games as a whole is all about hand-eye coordination. The information that my eyes take in immediately translate to my muscle memory and how I use the mouse. You need to properly focus on your eyes and what they're looking at because you'll start realizing I'm just kind of looking everywhere. I'm focused on something else during a gunfight. I'm worried about something else. I'm not fully focusing on just clicking on their head. 
It's crazy. It sounds ridiculous, but it is so true. Use your eyes properly and full focus on their head, and then your hand will know what to do. The moment you start applying this and using it in game, it's going to be like a, a switch in your head. It's going to be instant. You're just going to feel it. I played tennis in college, and one of the like pillars of playing tennis well is that you watch the ball until it hits your racket and leaves your racket. You don't look up and look at the at your opponent when you're hitting the ball. You watch the ball all the way through, and it seems silly. Like I've been playing tennis for eight years now. Why do I need to watch the ball as it hits my racket? But it's because of that that hand-eye coordination aspect where that full focus allows you to execute so well with your muscle memory. Now, some people may not like that one, or they may not feel like they could properly apply it, and that's totally fine. If it if you feel like you already do that, that's totally cool. But I, I would want to ask you just to go into a DM and just only think about that, only thinking about how your eyes are affecting your aim and if you are full focusing on their heads or wherever you're trying to aim. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. This is my first video of this kind of sort, so I'm excited and I'm also a little nervous, so I hope you liked it. Thank you so much.